Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to uh, the 18th of October. I'm just thinking, man, this is kind of kind of getting spoiled out here. Unfortunately, these beautiful, beautiful mornings will, for the most part, go away. That's all right. That's part of the, the seasonal change. But it's super, super nice right now. Especially how it gets so warm during the day. Near 80 almost each day. <laughs> and then this one over here frozen. <laughs> and you got the fall collars in the backyard. I was just telling the peeps, Mama, we're getting spoiled. This time of year, it should be raining. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, little woman, another successful trip to work. Yeah. <laughs> See, they're still loading up stuff for the snow show. Got the big snow show in Puyallup, Washington yeah. this weekend. It'll be a minimum crew. <laughs> but another beautiful day. A lot of fog in the Toledo Castle Rock area, though. All right, Mama, I'm going to head on down. All right, sweetie, I will see you at the water. Sounds like a plan. Love you. See you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. It's amazing how much stuff they take to that snow show. I think this is our second trailer full. Crazy. <laughs> it just keeps coming. Look, I brought Sashi to work. Actually, this is Bandit, Sasha's brother. He's got the same mannerisms and whatnot as Sasha. Yeah. And his brother is Smokey. Smokey and the Bandit. Is that cool or what? God, he reminds me of Sasha. That's crazy. <laughs> Man, I tell you. I'm gonna wear you guys out with these BMW GS rides here. <laughs> but they've got to be they got to be performed. Oh geez, that thing's tall. Holy moly. So craziest thing and I, and I think it's related to what I was discussing with you guys on the uh, spider yesterday this guy comes in yesterday and um oh he's gonna block me off here that's perfect don't have to worry about anything coming around there because they're not gonna make it through a UPS truck but anyway he's got this thing all wrapped up it says his clutch master cylinder is leaking like a sieve and uh man Get on my rack this morning pull the pull the uh, diaper off of it as as it may be and yeah buddy she was leaking something fierce in fact it's crazy that i didn't have to bleed this thing because it looked like there was no fluid in this thing and it's a it's not a you know a brake fluid it's it's one of those uh it's a mineral fluid v10 is the version that bmw uses What we got there? Africa Twin. Yeah, baby. But anyway, I uh, pulled the thing apart. There's nothing wrong with anything. It literally looks like it's the same issue with regular, you know, dot brake fluid that the diaphragm gets wet. It's not going to stop. So I don't know if at some point he lifted the cap to look at it or it looks like it's been down. Um on the uh, left side because it looks like he's kind of cleaned up some scuff marks I mean these are uh, adventure bikes they're gonna they're gonna hit the ground <laughs> you don't usually panic over these things so bikes hitting the ground I had myself a little issue yesterday and it was on a BMW R1200 GS. So it was sitting out in the parking lot in the uh, service rider, Matt, you know, he, 
he's he's not a tall dude just like i'm not a tall dude but anyway he uh he goes hey could you uh would you mind bringing this thing in you know riding it in i said yeah no problem I was out in the parking lot and ooh, where's he got his suspension set at oh all right oh yeah i was hitting them bumps there and it was giving me a good old jolt amazing how adjustable the suspension is on these things oh look at my look at that guy just blatantly talking on his phone well i guess that's gonna be the end of my beautiful red trees for 2018 there's not enough left on those things to even gawk at now is there I got one hold out here on the end but anyway uh so he took the keys back up you know he broke broke the bike up or whatever took the keys back up with him at uh, <laughs> the end of the day and and uh so i go out there well it's uphill through there it's not easy pushing an r1200 gs up a hill you know <laughs> and you can do it i did it so the bike's sitting on the center stand i drop it off the center stand and i heave it up the hill and not that ramp but from the middle of the parking lot up to our BMW doors doesn't look like it but that's definitely a hill you don't think it's a hill push a K1600 or something up that thing oh it's a hill but at any rate I uh, drop the bike off the center stand and go walking towards the shop with it let's slow down and take a good gander at this oh yeah look at this one she's about to turn in the same color and uh, so I, I go and I was about to park it right inside the door and I'm walking along with it I said yeah I'm just going to go ahead and put it up on my rack so because I don't have a key because I don't have a key I uh, you know I got to push it up by hand so I get a little speed going there you know walking a little fast and roll up front wheel goes up starts to hit the flat plane of the, of the rack and uh next thing i know loud bang and the bike just snaps out of my hand i mean it just took off right side stand on a ramp rookie 101 on pushing motorcycles around and loading them on motorcycle ramps but in my defense if the bike's sitting on the center stand, why would the side stand be out? Unless he got off, put it on the side stand, flipped it up, just forgot to flip the side stand up. Anyway, I, I didn't see it. And you think if it was down, you'd kick it, you know? Nope. Don't see nothing. Hit that rack, and it just literally went poof. Just snap, The bike just snapped right, right out of my hand. Well, there she is laying between my motorcycle ramp and my bench and there's nobody down there but me so had to grab the bike by the passenger handrail and luckily it landed on my mats i got some floor mats there it landed on that drug the thing back did the old classic proper way to pick up a motorcycle and i gotta say a uh, r1200 gs picks up off the ground like real easy it's like rolling a gold wing up it's laying on the on the engine guards and uh once you roll it 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 goes to about 45 degree angle before you even start picking it up it's laying on the cylinders so anyway i uh assess the damages and just little tiny things so anyway the customer will be notified will replace whatever so the GM was gone Travis you guys met him remember you've seen him in videos before but he was the one that was uh, with the BRP um, trophies that we received but uh, anyway he was gone for the day so Get there first thing this morning and go up and get my cup of coffee. And, uh, well, I gotta tell Travis a story. <laughs> but 
But the one thing, if I'd have had the key, I would have started the bike up. I probably wouldn't have got on it. I'd have probably just walked it up, you know, under its own power. And, uh, well, guess what happens when you put a BMW or any motorcycle with a side stand switch, safety switch, and you put them in gear, they die. So I'd have known the side stand was down. But too little, too late. But you say, anyway, Travis, just, oh, whatever. Make up a list. Get the parts coming. Fix her up. No yelling, no screaming. This is the thing that kills me is every once in a while you get like a new, like a lot kid. We haven't had anybody like this in quite a while. But in the past, I'd say probably 10 years back, probably the last one that tried to hide something. Maybe even more than that. But anyway, they'd be out there washing a the bike or moving a bike around and drop it. And so afraid of losing their job, they just kind of shove it out of the way and like nobody knows nothing. Well, now you can't get away with it because you got cameras everywhere, but... <laughs> I told Travis, I said, look at about 4.35 yesterday. I said, point the, point your uh, your thing down at my rack. I said, you're going to see something kind of funny. Well, it's not funny, but, you know, after the fact. It's just a simple drop. That landed on a rubber mat. Well, anyway, that's what I... I was referring to last night. I got a story to tell you. I had to wait until the uh, customer had been contacted. The names have not been released until family members have been contacted. Kind of one of those things. So now I got a big old, I got a big old spider job I got to work on. I'll be on that for the rest of the day tomorrow. Where do I want this thing? Well, I can't sit here because I got to move that spider out. <clears throat> Alrighty. Thanks for going for a rip. So it's end of the day. Something's burning out here. Well, it's quite, quite strong over here. But anyway, already clocked out and was walking up front, grabbed Kelly, and realized I forgot a very expensive. Uh, Kiriakin travel bag that I bought today to uh, to take to a BMW school. I'll show you guys. Kiriakin. It's got a label on it somewhere. I thought it did. There we are. She ain't cheap though. But it's cool. In the event of a water landing, I'll have the only piece of luggage that'll survive, most likely. Waterproof zippers and all this other crap on it. It's actually designed to be used on your motorcycle as well. And it comes with all the stuff to strap it down to your bike, so it has a double usage. And I will put this thing to use. Yep, that's on. She's getting quite low at five o'clock nowadays. I gotta do the roof cam just to say goodbye to you guys. <laughs> okay. She's up here in the roof. In the roof, man. Yeah. All right, Mama, let's head for the homestead. All righty, Daddy. All right. Bye, Pro Cow. Ooh, look at that. 1099, 1098. We done broke down on the side of the road. Or maybe we just stopped right here at the old tractor supply. We haven't been taking you guys here in a while. I guess we did on motorcycles here not too long ago but anyway we're gonna go in here and get some stuff <laughs> man oh man look at them skies now we didn't spend too much time in here even got a little one of those little heaters with the little so fake cute. fire thing yeah. for the little Betty room mama says I really like that can we get it all right. <laughs> Man, that is so cool looking out here. Woo! But unfortunately, it's going to end and we got to go home. Man, I just can't get over this beautiful lighting. Got a little sliver of a moon up there. All right, got to go. Well, hello there, YouTube. Made it home in a pitch black dark. Yep. It'd be it, darker and dark. 
Or it gets dark quick now. Boy, it just yeah. signs off. Uh, and this time of year, too, the twilight doesn't linger on. Although it did pretty good tonight because, you know, the clear skies. But even so, even so, it's nothing like the summer twilight. Yeah. That right. just goes on forever. I mean, you can still go out in the yard at almost 11 o'clock at night. Oh, yeah. You can still mow and do whatever. I know. Of course, I can't mow because my, the dew kicks in and my mower clogs up. I know. <laughs> but anyway, it's a good day today. It's mm -hmm. another nice warm day. I don't know what it got to, but I had all the doors open. I had fans going around me. And yeah, it was, it was a good. good day. A little woman. There was like three people there and two most of the time because they're doing that big snow show. So all the resources are going to that. Yeah. You know, people that are normally there, they got a couple extra days off because, you know, they're either going to the thing or, or going to work days that they normally have off. And yeah. So, yeah, busy. Yes. But you didn't look too overwhelmed when I come up there. I felt it inside. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> I was holding it all in. Yeah. Uh. And got to meet um, a bandit. Sasha's, oh, yeah. Sasha's brother from the the last last litter yeah last litter yeah. remember it's a little puppy we were going if there's one we're going to keep it's going to be that one yeah and then little Dan we couldn't find a home for him and finally just kind of kind of quit searching I know he turned out to be yeah such a good yeah dog. glad we kept him he is awesome and then the second to last puppy we ended up getting back yeah so that would that's be Sawyer Sawyer and then we gained a pit bull. She she is coming to get them dogs, isn't she? Oh lordy, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. I'll miss I, Sawyer. I, yeah, I I love the dogs, but yeah, that it is eight added dogs is, chaos. I remember that, us thinking six dogs, man, this is way too much, and yes. all of a sudden, bam, it's eight. Yeah, six would be a cakewalk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody has their rituals, so it's just getting the other two dogs in the same rituals. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're gonna roll out on it. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and I hope your Friday or Saturday are wonderful. Yep. I almost lost track of what Yeah, it I was. did too. I wouldn't, if you were wrong, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Thank you very much now. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.